In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the missing coordinate when you're given the slope and two points, but one of the coordinates is missing. This is oftentimes presented as a more challenging problem when you're learning about slope and algebra. So let's dive in. We're going to go through two examples together. We're going to be using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 when you're given two points. And see if you can do some of these problems on your own if you want to practice. But say, for example, for this first problem, we're missing the x-coordinate in this second point. But we know the slope is equal to negative 3 over 2. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and set up our slope equation here. We're going to say y2 minus y1, so negative 1 minus 5, divided by x2 minus x1, so that's k minus 2. And that's going to be equal to our slope, which is negative 3 halves. OK, now let's simplify it a little bit first. Uh, negative 1 minus 5 is a negative 6. Remember, subtraction is like adding the opposite. So negative 6 over k minus 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2. Now, you know the property of proportions where you can multiply in the diagonal, or it's called uh, cross multiplying, or the cross product. So negative 6 times 2 is equal to negative 12. And then negative 3 times the quantity k minus 2. So this diagonal multiplied together equals this diagonal multiplied together. Now all we have to do is solve this uh, algebra equation by distributing. So negative 3k, negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. And now we're just going to go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides to get the numbers on one side, variables on the other. That's negative 18. And if we divide both sides by negative 3 to get k by itself, you can see that k is coming out to positive 6. And so that's our missing coordinate. Now you can always check your work by you know, putting 6 back in here and then calculating the slope again using these two points and you should get negative 3 over 2. Let's take a look at another example now. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to test yourself and try this one. Now what's different about this problem is we're missing the y coordinate. Here we were missing the x coordinate. But it's going to be the same exact process. So see if you can do this one. So if I was going to do it, I'm going to do y2 minus y1. So this means the y-coordinate of the second point minus the y-coordinate of the first point divided by x2 minus x1. Now remember, when you use this slope formula, you want to be consistent. So you want to either do y minus y, then you do x minus x, or you can do it the other way, y minus y over x minus x. You want to stay consistent with the order. You don't want to do like this y minus this y and then switch it up and say this x minus this x you're going to get the wrong answer, right? So now this is going to be equal to our slope, which is negative 2, which you can always make a whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. So let's simplify a little bit here. We've got uh, subtractions like adding the opposite, adding the opposite. So we really have now k plus 4 over 5 plus 3, which is 8, is equal to negative 2 over 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply on the diagonal. And 1 times anything is itself, so that's going to be k plus 4. Uh, 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. If we subtract 4 from both sides, you can see that k is coming out to negative 20, and that's our missing y-coordinate. Now again, if you want to check your work, go ahead and put it back in, and you can go ahead and calculate the slope, and you should get negative 2. Great job if you were able to follow this video. I'll put a link to another video I did talking about uh, slope right there if you want to get some more practice. I'll see you over in that video.